Hey, what is up you guys? Greenbot101 here, and today I am bringing you another, yet another episode of Dying Light. So, I had got the, I had gotten the DLC for the Ninja, the Urban Explorer, and the Special Agent uh, costumes, and it also gives you these weapons, I'm pretty sure you know that, but um, I had a difficulty trying to find the most common item for this one. Um, as you can see, whenever you get it, they do give you the blueprints. There's Buzz Killer, there's Nightclub, Last uh, I can't pronounce that shit, and Constable, uh, the Constable. But the hardest one that took that the the, ugh, the one that took me the most effort to build was the Nightclub because I could not find any electronics anywhere. I searched for like 15 fucking minutes just to find two pieces of electronics. But other than that, the other ones were just a piece of cake to build. This weapon right here, I, um, that one didn't take me long. It took me about like three minutes. But um, I have them all equipped and this is the constable that you're going to see. Uh, I use them a bit and they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll, this one, um, if you don't know, oh shit. This one, if you don't know, this, uh, has flame and electricity so, and it's as you can see is a gas pipe or a water pipe and oh okay I broke your arm I think ouch I want to see him get yeah there we go see they're caught on fire and they're being electrocuted all right but right now I'm wearing this special agent I mean you can't really see it but I'll show you out here let me go show you the Outfits I got. <clears throat> okay, I can't do it in that. And we're running up, running up, running up. And okay, safe zone. We're in the safe zone. Alright. Now check it out. Okay. So, whenever I got the DLC, it gave me the special agent, which I'm wearing right now. You can see right there. The Urban Explorer. It looks a lot like the uh, the headhunter. Well, not a lot like it, but it looks similar. But that's the urban explorer, and my favorite one, the ninja. That one is pretty cool. Covers your entire body. But I've been running around with this one a bit, and this one. So we're gonna. Well, no, I'll stick with the special agent. I just wanted to show you what I had. Oh, and um. If y'all don't know about the special weapon in here that you can get, it's, um, where is it? The EXP Caliber, I'm pretty sure you should know about that. If you want to know where it's at, it's actually not really that hard to find. It's in this little tiny rock over here. It's a little island. You just swim out there, and it's not really that far, but you have to, the way to get the weapon is you have to, once you see the weapon, you, the sword will be there and um, it said this EXP caliber is mine so in order to get it you don't just pick it up like that you have to hold the square button or whatever button you may have it on PC Xbox one or PS4 you have to hold the button down for at least a good three to five minutes because he's trying to pull it out but the weapon it's a golden sword and it's a very powerful sword but the durability here let me show you if it has it on here yeah see the damage is 321 the durability is 5 that's not very good but it get um, it, it, give, it should give you a lot of xp um, but the components for it, there's five electronics, ten plastic, ten tin cans, oh Jesus, ten metal parts, one bolter tissue, and ten alcohol. Just for one golden sword. King sword, are you the one? I may be. I already, I used it, it's actually pretty good. It's a really good weapon, I sold it because, well, I was finished using it. It broke. And this one, I, the nightclub I've been using for quite a while, and I don't have any more repairs on it. So this is my last time using it, but I can build another one. Okay, uh, y'all saw the nightclub. So now you get to see the buzz killer. It's a spinning saw. 
on a huge metal staff. It's basically the same concept as an axe, except it's a saw. Um, but for this weekend, they're, uh, Dying Light, the makers of Dying Light had added a, um, a classic zombie killing thing, which means you, you have to kill the zombies in the head. Well, you don't have to, but each time you attack them, it kill like, it always aims for the head. See? Just kill them. I mean, you can kill them in any other way. Just splitting them in half, doesn't really matter, but they just added that fun little thing to it. And I think it's pretty cool. Okay, you just fell by yourself. Okay. What a retad! See, watch. I can split them in half and they'll still die. Well, I mean, they'll obviously be dead. Duh. There you go. You're dead. You're very dead. And as you can see, that saw is spinning up there. That's actually pretty cool. But once it gets damaged a bit, then it will, like, be bent. And it'll stop spinning. Okay, y'all saw that. Now I will show you the constable. The constable has that little spur up there, so it's just basically... And it also has barbed wire, as you can see on there too, but it's just the basic concept of the electrocutioner. Which is, if you don't know what the electrocutioner is, it's just a baton that's electrified. But since it has a little spur and barbed wire, it gives it a more type of cutting, I guess you could say. A more cut deeper and deadlier cut. Now let's get these guys. See, like, it just tears them up. It just tears them up. Oh yeah, as you can see, he flew. That, that guy flew. Um, if you have any electrical weapons, if uh, you keep hitting multiple zombies, they'll end up eventually flying. So let's heal. Now y'all saw the constable. Now I will show you the uh, the lacerator. I think that's how it is. I can't pronounce it. This one is my favorite too. This is my favorite weapon. Just look how deadly this thing is. Oh, three decapitations in one. And once you swing the weapon, those little things up top just spin. Um, the way to build this weapon, you need, let me see, you can, you need a floor plank, plane plank, a table leg, or a nailed plank, and common items, metal parts, blade, nails, and duct tape, but it's all there. If, uh, you don't have this DLC, you should, um, I recommend you should get this, because it's actually pretty fun. You get free outfits and some weapons. But um, there's a suppose there's supposed to be a new weapon called the Punk Queen. It has a crowbar and it was like screws into it and it's electrified too. Oh, oh, hello! Play soccer with your head. <laughs> Why well, not? Go on, kick it, kick it. Okay. Um. Now let's see. Ram into that bitch. Any more of the undead? No, no. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I had um, since I had upgraded a bit, like my um, my agility has upgraded a bit. Um, I was able to get a drop roll. So if I fall, like let's say, oh hell no, I would not fall off. Let's say if I would, let's see, fall off of this. Originally, I would hurt and break my leg, but now I can roll. Check this out. And hopefully, I can do it right. There we go. See? But right as you're about to hit the ground, you have to hold circle or B or whatever console you may have it on. And Watch out! Kill the bitch! Kill it! Kill it! Oh. Oh. You're just spewing blood and puke everywhere. That is nasty. Why well, he's decapitated? Bitch! Oh, take down! Are you fracture fracture this skull? All right, let's use the or the nightclub again. 
I've never known for a weapon to have flame and electricity at the same time. This weapon is my favorite uh, next to Lacerator. Like this weapon I find better than the other one. Okay, wait, what can I craft? Like all these, these were like all these were just great, but until I got these, those up the, up here, they're they're just nothing compared to these. Um I want to build the Excalibur again. I have enough um metal parts. I just need all the other shit. Um I'll, in another video I'll do um, me trying to look for some spare shit for it. But um my inventory has gotten quite full already. I mean, it's not full, but I have a lot of shit. Um, I'm out of ammo for my guns. I only have a double barrel and a military rifle. Uh, I'm going to save the nightclub and I'm going to use the sacrificial sword. Because this, this sword actually... Oh! You get out of here, bitch! Look at that, just decapitations. Get the bitch! Nope, get up there, come on. Don't be a dumb. Okay, let me split you in half. Okay, I missed. There we go. Oh. Spew your blood air. Okay, swing your arms, okay. That helps. And, da, 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 da. and we're gonna land! Look, I keep getting decapitation. This is awesome. And Look at that, just lots and lots of decapitations. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> Two decapitations in one. Alright, let's use the buzz killer. Oh shit, I took off his arm too. Not just his head, but his arm. And for some reason I like to break those. I don't know why. It's just a fruitless task. Okay, there goes your leg. I'm Agent 47 in this business. Except my tie is black. This is red. Okay, wait. I can't see! Kill more of the undead! Oh, wait, let's... Oh, okay. I see lots of red enemies. Did I do it? Did I help? Okay, I'm helping. Am I helping? Last time I killed everybody on accident. Crusader. The Crusader. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this episode, you guys. Stay tuned in for my channel for more of these videos. Um, I'm gonna be doing, uh, I haven't got a chance to do any Watchdog videos. Because, well, I don't have Watchdogs anymore because it was my uncle's. Because I borrowed it. Um, but I'm gonna be doing more Advanced Warfare zombies. Um, other than that, I will see you guys later. Peace.